Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. As you can see, it's nighttime. We just had a shipment that arrived late and I had to pull a lot of strings to get the shipment out of Miami. Uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and try to acclimate all these fish because we also have another shipment coming in for Lauderdale. It's gonna be a crazy night. Lisa, you're working late. <laughs> uh, I already opened this box because it was leaking. We got Junior over there helping out as well. But real quick, this guy looks great which is a plus. That's a pure Iba catfish. We have some bigger ones, but we decided to bring some more smaller ones in. And then I have another one here that is a little bit bigger. Uh, there you go. He looks good as well. So, and, oh, look at this. This is a Bracopondo peacock. Big boy. Great size. Last time the, the, the one that we got this size didn't make it. Um, the bag was leaking, so this guy is doing really good. Let's give it to Junior here. There's another one here. Oh, look at the markings of that guy. That's a really pretty fish. Thanks, buddy. Okay, let's see what's in here. Another Piraiba, small Piraiba. You know, all the ones that we brought last time, they survived. They were a little skinny, but they all survived. Thanks, buddy. That's the Piraiba. And these, this is another broken pond. What a beautiful animal. Beautiful fish, all the way from Suriname. And they all look really good. So I'm happy so far. Here you so go, far my friend. So all right, so let's do this quick. Cause guys, we have another shipment that Kevin actually sent it to me. Uh, but that one is in Fort Lauderdale, so I don't have to go to Miami. I can just go to Fort Lauderdale and pick that up. Let's see, what's that? What's gonna be on this one? There was a box that was leaking. Uh, so I hope that it was the big guy. Woo, oh, little bags. I, unreal, these are all peacock, peacocks? Yeah. Yes, all peacocks. Everybody looks good. Everybody looks good. Okay, all right, so let's do this. Good junior, here you go my friend, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> By the way, guys, Junior is my jiu-jitsu instructor, a good friend of mine too. We went to the Brazilian trip together to the Amazon and uh, he loves fish. He's a biologist in Brazil. So he's helping me out to do these types of shipments because it's, it's a pain, you know? You gotta go to Miami, spend the whole day there. I had to go a bunch of other places because it was after hours, but at least we were able to get the shipment. Oh, these are baby ones. Nice. So we could do, we did got a bunch of sizes, small, medium, and large, which is great. Let me see these guys here. Let me take the phone from you. All right, just so you guys can see, as soon as we open the bag, this is what we see. So we have to look up and see which one needs to help the most. These guys look like they're doing really good, all of them. So we're just gonna go ahead, give it to Junior. He's gonna put it in our rack and then we're gonna open them all together and acclimate. Vamos separando small, medium, and large. Alright, you smart man. Junior is actually helping us too with our Brazilian channel because uh, we have a lot of fans in Brazil. So he's helping me film and edit those videos because we only have time to do for you guys. We don't have time to do for everybody. I wish we did. Wow, that's a lot of peacocks. So these guys are also looking really good. Ooh. <laughs> Look What's at this. On that one? I am so happy they packed them all. This guy pooped a little bit, but he's still doing pretty good. We just gotta get the acclimation process going because we don't know how long they're gonna last in these bags. See, look, this one pooped a little bit. But mm. let's go ahead, put them all there. There you go, Junior. Alright. Okay. okay. Uh oh. When 
not gonna use these anyways. Well, we are for local shipments. Oh, oh my God, look at these guys, man. They all come in in great condition. It's perfect. Another big boy here, stuck to the box. Their bellies look nice and healthy. Yeah, They're not skinny. they look They're very not healthy. Another Pura Eva. Yep. Another small Pura Eva. So the good thing about these guys is we can put them together in the same tank. Like the Pura Evas. Fight. No, they won't fight. Two more monsters. Ready? Slow mo. Look at the markings. Yeah. They're but they're all, all gonna different. they're all gonna change their markings though. Once they acclimate, you know, they're inside of a, a white box that's like fully black for a couple hours. Stress out. I mean, we would change colors too if we're in a box for a couple hours. Oh box number five, my favorite number. Let's see. What do you think, Junior? Good shipment? Very nice Very nice shipment. What about you, babe? Very nice. What about you guys? What do you think about the shipment so far? I mean, we only have three boxes left. That yeah, feels good. The first time we had the Rocco Condos, they sold out pretty fast, so. Well, now we have. I feel like now we've got a nice, Wow, nice, look at the nice dots place. on this guy. It looks like a Tementis dot almost. It's, it's dark out here, but you can see the dots like perfectly. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Let's just make sure they're all gonna be healthy. Um, before putting them on the website. But they all look pretty good. Oh, this guy looks like he leaked a little bit. Here you go, buddy. We got two big ones here, Junior. Oh, oh I can see the big Guys, look at this. If you want some high-end peacocks, these guys right here are high-end peacocks. It's not something you see every day. I this is the They're second time I've seen them. Right? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, the reason why. It's hard to import from Suriname. One, hard to find good, reliable uh, providers, okay? Two, shipping's expensive. Three, the fish itself is expensive. Uh, we can buy peacocks from all over Peru, Colombia, the regular stuff for a lot cheaper. These guys actually cost a lot of money. So, you know, imagine if I buy this whole box and they come in dead, I'm on a loss. That's why people don't want to deal with that, you know? This is a beautiful one. Look at that. The biggest one. This is one of the biggest ones? Yeah. All right. It's a lot of, I think this is all Braca Pondos. So now, last time you guys got upset at me because there's not enough Braca Pondos. Now there's enough Braca Pondos for you, your mom, your for dad, everybody. your grandfather, your kids, even your neighbor doesn't have a fish tank. Get him a Braca Pondo and then get him a tank after. Or just take it from him after. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't know what I had to do to get these fish today. All right, now this guy, look down here. You can see that he poked his bag. This is a huge Serratus uh, Pleco. Ugh, so I'm hoping that he's still alive. I can't tell, but he's huge. He's bigger than the ones we had last time. Um, I don't think I have any gloves here. Junior, can you help me? Can you see if there's gloves in the, in the bathroom, okay. please? Poor Junior. Always... Always busy helping out. Holy crap. Look at the size of this fish, babe. Yes, he's alive. I think. Yeah. Let's find out. Oh my god, everything is to kill you. This fish, yep, he's moving. Not much water there, but he's good. Let's go ahead and uh, put him in. But see, on situations like this, guys, where the bag is already poked and leaking. There's only one there. Only one glove? Okay, yeah. let's put it over here. I want to go ahead, since there's only one, um, since there's only one, since um, the bag was already poked, I want to go ahead and start acclimating faster than the rest of the fish. But I want to see if I can get him out. I don't know, he's pretty big, pretty fat. Maybe if I grab him by the head. Whoa, he's not too happy, that's for sure. 
I don't know if you can hear, but he's literally destroying this bag. Come on, dude. Oh, what a monster. Look at this. Now this is a fish, guys. This is a real plecker right here. Not the little stuff that we're used to. This guy, we eat shrimp and food. Like, and food, of course he's gonna eat food. Oh, he's upside down. No, no, no. Come on, get this water. Open up, all right. Some of his water, I just swallow some of his water, but he's got plenty of water. He's gonna acclimate pretty fast. Let's go ahead and leave him in there. And get you left, huh? What, you hate yourself? <laughs> yeah, I, I backed up right into the door. You know what's really funny? That a lot of uh, airlines don't accept only styrofoam. And from Story and M, I guess they don't really care. Uh. So let's go ahead. Uh. Uh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> this shipment was of 12 boxes from Story and M. And I never know where my knife or box cutter are. Even the ones that were gifted to you. I know. By concerned viewers, you lost them as well. It's not that I lost it. They're, they're here they're, somewhere. They're here. They're just misplaced. It's because you t touch on my stuff. Oh, yeah. It's me. More big old peacocks. Lordy. That one's tripping a little bit. You might have some leakage there. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> okay. All alive and well. Look at the size of this beast. Whoa, it's whoa, magnified. Go turn a little bit. This way? Which way? Like that? Yeah. Really good. It looks like a magnified glass. So there's a couple big ones, Junior, and some medium ones. Nice. But it's leaking a little bit, so we're going to have to do this way. Oh, man. I'm getting too old for these guys. <laughs> ah. Let me tell you. To import your own fish, the quality is a lot better, but it's a lot work. It's a lot better depending on who you deal with as well. I had a lot of, of orders when we opened a business that <laughs> we lost a lot of money. So if you can find a good wholesaler that's gonna help you out and give you good product, whoa, you don't know what's in here. I don't. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's another monster. Look at the size of this guy. I don't know if you can see it. But look, it's just see as big shadow. as the, yeah, yeah, it's just as big as the other one. Alive. Oh yeah. You can open this one, okay? If you want to put it next to the other guy. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What is this? Together or no? Oh. Yeah, together, together. Okay, now the Pureiba. Doing really good. And these guys, guys, these are the <laughs> true giant Pureibas, okay? This is not the Capa Petrum that we have, the Vailanti. These are the monster fish in the world like these are the the like i don't even i can't even talk <laughs> these are like um when i was watching river monsters when i was young this is like a dream to be able to house one of these fish you know what i mean so please make sure don't buy if you have a small tank you know this guy unless you have a real pond don't don't buy these types of fish look at this peacock amazing colors that one's pretty yes really beautiful and these are all brocopondos there's only one species uh, of peacocks in Suriname, I believe, and that's all of it, Brocopondos. Let's go to box number something. Last box, guys. Before I say goodbye, let's go ahead. Oh, that's not it. All the line, all the line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? The customs goats. <laughs> Did I tell you customs was closed? Yeah. Whoa. Pureiba? Pureiba. Is this going to be the shipment that will have zero DOA? I think it so. It might be. Look at that. Perfect. All the fish are good, healthy fish. The bags look pretty full of oxygen. Yeah, they do. Now we're just going to acclimate them the way we do it. And they're going to be perfect. There's nothing wrong with them. 
This is amazing. So guys, thanks for watching. I will put them on the website. I still got to go pick up another shipment for Lauderdale. So we're going to be dead tomorrow, but I'll make sure that these fish are all going to be individually. Oof. I can't even breathe. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to take pictures of individual fish and put it on the website for you guys because these are such nice fish that I'm sure when you see the patterns on them, you might want one or another, you know, that you don't want to miss the opportunity. So I'll make sure at least to get some that, okay? So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, let me know. But to purchase these fish, just go to Predatory Fans Live. Oh. www.predatoryfans.com. Anything else, baby? Am I messing Whoa. up too much? <laughs> I think that's call it. I think that's let's call it. All right. Oh, and don't forget, send me the videos because Sunday we're going to do the video of the winner of the $100 credit with the DIY creations. All right. I'll see you guys next time.